Hello, 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 everyone out there in chat room line. Hello, everybody. This is your girl, Zen Gaia, the Zen Libra, and welcome to my channel, Zen Libra Tarot. How the hell is everyone out there today? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're feeling good, smelling good, acting right, pockets tight, body tight. That's what's up, because that's how we rocking on here on Zip Libra and Tarot, all right? And of course, this is the Goddess Channel. This is where the ladies come to get some healing from the other ladies, you know, because we are the healers, ladies. Everything began with us, and everything is going to end with us, so we need to get our shit together. So everybody else can get their shit together. We are the mother. We are, the, we seed uh, the universe. You know, um, we're the first people to teach the child. And the children grew up to be the society, to be the culture. So it's our duty to get it together, ladies. We've um, gotten off our path. Our path was, we were sitting here to run this shit, you know. Um, and we were skewed along the way. And no need to point fingers at people. Just get yourself back. Get yourself back to healing, okay? Heal ourselves. Because we are the healers. Who else is there to go and heal us, okay? Can't nobody do it like we do it. All right? Okay? And, of course, this is a video for the zodiac sign of Virgo. Ooh, I'm burning some sandalwood, y'all. Y'all like that sandalwood? I love it. My ancestors love it. I'm telling you, put this on your altar. You know what I'm saying? On your house. I mean, it's, it's the bomb. It's the bomb. All right. Ooh, I wish I could smell that shit. That shit smells so good to me. I love it. I love it. I love it a lot. All right. And of course, like I said, this is for the zodiac sign of Virgo. Virgo the Virgin, supposedly. <laughs> I've had the pleasure of having plenty of Virgos in my life, be it friends, relatives, uh, love connections. They are right people. They are right people. They just want everybody to be happy. They want everything to work out. Um, and they want to be the ones that make everything happen for everybody because they feel they're the helpers. That's what they're here to do, you know? My Virgos. Of course, that is Earth energy, which is stable energy. Virgos get their bread, you know, and they're disciplined enough to go get their bread, too. So whatever they want happen, you know, they put their mind to it. You know, if they're an ascended Virgo, they're going to make it happen. You know, uh, Virgos or the Hermits, um, they don't mind um, rocking solo. Not at all. Uh, they don't mind it at all. You know, um, Virgos, <laughs> if, you, if, you, if they feel like you're a distraction or something in their lives or you just don't fit into their uh, c uh, category or whatever they want you to fit in, they're... they're they burn out on your ass. I mean, like like I say, they ain't got no problem, you know, rocking solo. You know, sad to say, but dealing with the Virgo, hmm, is either they way or the highway. And that's sad to say, you know. The, you know, um, they something else. <laughs> um, you know, um, they are great analyzers. You know, um, they pay great attention, close attention to detail. Um, and an analysis is a great gift. Um, but Virgos, um, avoid, um, being overcritical because, um, people will take that as you're being judgmental, um, and it could become, um, pettiness or obsessiveness. So try not to be overcritical. Sometimes you just need to shut up Virgos and, um, let people do what they do. You know what I'm saying? You can't fix everything. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you know, um, you can't fix everything for everybody, Virgos, you know. So um, you have to know a Virgo to love a Virgo, you know, um, because they do come off as overcritical or overjudgmental. And, but they just want to help. They just want to fix the problem. That's Virgos. 
They just want to fix the problem. All right. And of course, this is the Goddess Channel. We pull from the feminine energy because we need more out here to get this madness straightened up. That's just what's going on out here. So I pull my home girl. I call her CC. But y'all cute look cute. I call her CC. But y'all cute, cute look cute. It's the goddess of a fresh start. All right. So Virgo Feminine, you could be getting a fresh start. All right. Um, CC is a goddess of water. If you could, uh, you know, um, she's a goddess of water. There are several goddess, goddesses that deal with water. She's one of them. I mean, she's here to help you wash away the, everything that isn't working for you and create something new. She's moving you to more fertile grounds. I mean, yeah, a fresh start. Um, let go of everything and start over from scratch. So a brand new fresh start. Like you can smell it, can't you? Like fresh cotton, you know. So that's great. That's great, Virgos. You're getting a fresh new start. And my homegirl, CC. Child Chu Look you is here to take you on that journey. All right. Okay. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. We have inner wakefulness. Number 33. That is a master number. And the card says, I am completely awake and tuned into my truth, clarity, and inner wisdom. Okay, 33 is a master number. And um, it adds up to six um, master number, but you're amplified six. Um, you are in tune with self. You've tapped into your inner goddess. You've mastered the relationship with yourself. You know who you are and you know your purpose. You mastered it. And the inner goddess in you is awake. And it's coming out. See, that's what happens, lady, when you, ladies, when you give yourself self-love. You nurture that goddess. And you nurture her, and you nurture her until she comes out. And you've mastered that. Go on here, my Virgo. Go on here, my Virgo. You know, you are a master. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. And I pulled over here, we have Divine Badass, number two, which is the mother. Um, it, and also, uh, two has to deal with your values, okay? Um, you are a beautiful divine rebel who rattles cages and rocks boats in the name of truth, love, and wisdom. You won't be talked out of what you know is true. You refuse to be put down or manipulated by anyone. You, will, you won't let fear control you. You rebel against belief systems that put doubt in your mind. You are your own person. You know trying to fit in is only for those who are afraid to stand out. You inspire others to overcome their fears. You are a divine badass. You are a badass, but in a good way. You hear me? You are divine and badass, but in a good way. You know? Because you, you. And can't nobody be better at doing you but you. You don't wear no mask. You know, you know your truth. You're secure with yourself. You're balanced. And can't nobody tell you different. Not even these crooked ass belief systems. You know, they put doubt into your mind, don't teach you nothing real. I mean, we really need to get out these churches, people. I mean, it's 2022, and if you still going to church, you lost in the sauce. I mean, straight up, man. They put all doubt in your mind. I mean, you, you, you're not free. You're restricted because you think you're going to hell. <laughs> you think you're going to hell. When you are already living in the underworld. Okay. My goodness. My goodness. We need to come out those churches. Uh, and those. In, 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 these, in these belief systems people. I mean. 
Come on, quit trying to fit in. You're only trying to fit in because you, 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 you're afraid to stand out. Why are you afraid to stand out? You the shit. You the shit. How can you ex uh, expect people to accept you if you don't accept yourself? You know, you got to have inner wakefulness. Like this card over here. You got to you master the relationship with yourself. And what I tell y'all, I close out every time and tell you, know thyself, know thyself, know thyself. To me, no shame. That's Latin for know thyself. And that's the best thing that you can ever do in your life is know yourself. And you're a divine badass, but in a good way. That's what's up. All right. Invest. You got growing wealth over here, Virgo. Which they, that that's, that makes sense for Virgo. Virgos are uh, uh, earth energy, and they stable, and they get that bread. You know. You got growing wealth over here. I'm feeling that. You got a fresh start, and you starting it with a bag. You starting it in your bag, Virgo. That's what's up. I'm digging that. Okay. <coughs> You got the nine of sticks over here, um, and it's upside down. That means that uh, somebody tried to defeat you, but they didn't. So the people, a person, or thing, or situation, or whatever that tried to defeat you, they're feeling defeated right now. They're feeling defeated right now. You know, um, someone is hurt as a result of trusting the wrong people. Okay. Someone trusted the 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 the, um, the wrong people and went into a situation where they got their ass kicked. Got their ass kicked. Okay. You see those schools standing by there? That's the ancestors. I see the ancestors stood by. With this person. And this person was so loving. So nurturing. You know because you're the mother. You're the nurturer. And people were, were attacking them. Getting at them. Just attacking them. Just attacking them. And you're so nurturing. And want everybody to heal. That you're like. Uh, I just want them to heal. I just pray for them to heal. You know pray for them to heal. Um, I'm just praying for them to heal. I'm just praying for everybody to heal. And your ancestors standing behind you like, all right, fuck that. We ready to kick some ass. Whenever you say jump, we're here to jump. You know, and this person said, you know what? I'm getting tired of getting bagged into a fucking corner. And letting people and situations take advantage of me, taking my kindness for weakness. See, unfortunately, you know, it's hard out here. You know what I'm saying? Like Tupac say, how the hell are you going to be an angel when you're surrounded by all fucking demons? So you got to shake and move how they shake and move. When you fighting the devil, sometimes you got to stick them with their own pitchfork. So you got people out here doing all type of black magic and all this shit. You know what I'm saying? And this person was like, okay, fuck that. My ancestors, let's get it. And the ancestors was like, about time, we was waiting on you. All you had to do was say the word and shit. You just get out the way and we got this. So this person's ancestors came and regulated some shit. Do you hear me? And they behind her. But look at her. She in the front. She got her Bible. You know what I'm saying? Putting that hoodoo on their ass. Quoting them Psalms. You know what I'm saying? And she got her pistol. She like me. Like I'm me. I'm like one of the Charlie's Angels around this motherfucker. Cause I'm a pop your ass. You hear me? Cause it's better you than me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And she was ready. And the ancestors was like, "Nah, you ain't gotta do nothing. Just step back. We got this. We got this. We just waiting on you. Now you just sit down, eat some popcorn, cause we finna tear up some shit. Cause they don't play about you. And that's what the ancestors did. The ancestors rose to the occasion. This person didn't even have to do shit. You know, it's all good to be healing and loving and nurturing, but some people take that kindness for weakness. 
and you out here being an angel, sometimes you got to pop your wings on these motherfuckers and let, let them know what time it is that you ain't on that bullshit. So y'all want to play? So you want to meet the wizard, uh huh? Come on, meet the wizard, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That's what this person said. Because they're divine badass. They a rebel. You know what I'm saying? So they had to show and prove. You know what I'm saying? They had to show and prove out here. Because, you know, above all, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't finna be your victim. I refuse to be a victim. So if this what y'all want, this what y'all want, instead of going to heal some fucking where, okay, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's see who's going to win this. Let's get it. You ain't going to keep pissing on my head and telling me it's rain. All right? And that's what this person did. So you got somebody over here, they feeling all defeated because they was listening to the wrong people, trusting the wrong people around them. And this person's ancestors came and whooped that ass. And they not through. They not through. All right? I'm feeling that. Ancestors don't play. You know what I'm saying about they divine. You hear me? You know? And the universe said, this above all, refuse to be a victim. Damn real. I ain't your victim. Don't take my kindness for weakness. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to pop your wings out on these mugs. They don't believe in angels. So you got to show and prove and pop your wings. All right? Ain't no victims here. Ain't no victims here. Okay? You a divine badass. You got a whole tribe of, uh, behind you, a soul tribe of goons, of ancestors. They don't play about their baby. And that's you. So whoever tried to uh, war against you, they feeling it. They getting that ass tore up. <laughs> because we refuse to be a victim around here. Okay. Okay. All right. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about, Virgo. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what divine healing message. Ooh, that sandalwood smells so good, y'all. Y'all should burn that sandalwood. Ooh. Um, what divine healing message does spirit have for the Virgos today? You know, like I tell y'all, I look at a lot of movies and stuff when I'm preparing to do a reading and I'm listening to music. Um, I be doing a whole lot of stuff, but nothing is up for chance, you know, no coincidences. So I was looking at Kill Bill today. And Kill, it had me creeped. You know what I'm saying? Because she she's straight regulated, you know, and I'm up there like, yeah. Fuck they ass up. You know what I'm saying? Whoop the ass. It got so good I had to go and watch Kill Bill too. You know? And it's sad because you got this dude, you know what I'm saying? Bill. They got a gang of hoes just that he training and in control of and they looked at him like he got I mean, he just got them whipped, you know what I'm saying? But it's just one. It's just just, just one that he that was his shit. That he was crazy about. So I tired of living that life. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with him and he messing around with all these hoes. You know what I'm saying? She wanted to be the only one. So she stepped away. And she, you know, got up somebody new, you know, fell in love, and she was even pregnant by the guy, was getting married to the guy. And they showed up at the, at, the, at, the, at, the, at, the, uh, at the church where she was getting married. And him and his hoes killed the whole wedding party and fucked her ass up. Now, what kind of bitches gonna help a dude fight a girl? I mean, do you ever think why he hate this girl so much? Sounds like love to me. He's obsessed and deranged over this woman. Okay. I mean, but they fucked up. Damn near killed her. And she came back from the dead and she killed all of them. She regulated them all and got his ass in the end. You know what I'm saying? And all he did was love her. He just didn't want her to go and leave him. 
they does something. They does something. So he killed her. The, uh, the wedding party, the groom, they, they killed, they fucked everybody up. You know, shot her in the head. I mean, they did her in. And then them hoes really did her in because they was jealous of her all the time. Because they know Bill was, uh, that she was the shit. That she was the shit in his eyes. They weren't. She was number one. You know, jealous ass, stank ass bitches. You know what I'm saying? Bottom of the barrel ass, alley cat, roadkill ass bitches. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but she got their ass back. Every last one of them. You know, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to forget. You know what I'm saying? So, that has something to do with this reading. <laughs> Somebody was trying to defeat someone. And she stepped back, she armed herself, and she, and she came and... And her ancestors regulated some shit. You know? And sometimes you gotta do that. Because people don't believe fat meat is greasy. They don't believe that, man. I don't know why. What's wrong with these folks out here, y'all? You know? Taking your kindness for weakness. And it's a shame that people do that. You know? You're a loving person. And they just want to take advantage of that. And just use that against you. They use your strength. Which the love you give as your weakness. Oh, she love me. She won't do this. Hmm. You got to twist it. This is a new time. This is a new season. It's 2022. And you will get fucked up. Okay? And that's what this person did. Kudos to them. You know what I'm saying? Bang, bang. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This above all. Refuse to be a victim. And I feel you. Alright. So let's see what spirit got for my Virgos tonight. What's this message spirit got for my Virgos? Okay. What divine healing message do they have for the Virgos? Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I had to get the phone. You know, people are always calling at the most inopportune times, you know. Yeah. So, Kid Bill had me geeked because she was fucking their ass up and they deserved every damn thing, you know. So, that's how the ancestors came and regulated. You probably got somebody that, you know, came back from literally from the dead and whooped ass. And that's what you did, Virgo. I'm so proud of you if you did. Because they deserved it. You know. Alright, let's get this message. Okay. I hope everybody's had a good, great day. I hope you've accomplished everything you needed to accomplish. I hope you didn't have too, many, too much negative energy coming your way. If you did, I hope you know how to repel that. Um, get in the habit of that because in the world that we live in there's so much negativity out here that you know it's a sad sad world that's why ladies we need to get our shit together so we can nurture this earth and get it back on track get it back on its axis get it back balanced the way that they want it to be. Alright. The way that it was meant to be. Okay. Alright, my Virgos. Hmm. See? You got the Page of Swords. You got somebody out here doing fucking spell work. Don't even know what they're doing. Learning something new. They love it though. It's interesting to them. They're surprised that they're doing what they, they could do. What they could do. You know. And uh, probably was putting spell work on my Virgo here. Oh Virgo, you was doing this to somebody. Who knows? Switch the roles where you need. Reverse where you need. You know, only you know how this fits into your life. You know. But, um. Uh, Somebody on some raunchy shit out here. And they kept attacking this person until she said, fuck that. 
ancestors name like hey we bait you about time you said something now y'all you have to do just say the word you know and and they came out and they regulated she didn't have to do shit but she was prepared she had a get on her ready to blow some shit up but ancestors was like ain't no need we got this we got this whoever was doing spell work got their ass whooped you know what i'm saying so we're playing with the spell work, y'all, especially if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> You'll get a spiritual ass whooping. And a spiritual ass whooping. Man, I'm telling you. The divine will leave the handprint on your ass. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? All right now. All right now. All right, my beautiful viewers. Um, let me get the download from the universe and check out these cards. And I'll be right back and break it down for you. Just give me a few seconds. Okay. 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 Okay, okay, okay. You got this married couple. <laughs> you got Bunny and Clyde out here. You got this old ass dude messing with this young ass girl. And all she wanted was his money anyway. You know, that's all she cared about. You know, she don't know how to run no business. She don't take care of the house. She ain't no good wife. She don't take care of the kids. All she worried about is her makeup and her lace front wigs and you know her nails and she don't give a damn about nothing else very selfish individual you know but um yeah um her husband don't want her ass no more <laughs> he tired of her stinking ass you know and she keep giving him love offers keep trying to get with him i guess they broke but broken up or something i guess i guess um but he ain't even trying to get with her he wants something new he focused because he didn't realize that being with her he got no growth in his life you know what i'm saying and, um no growth at all and she's unbalanced you know she's unbalanced she has mental problems and long as he be with her nothing is going to come out of it nothing that he try to do is going to pan out you know he's not going to move forward in life you know what I'm saying? He's just going to be just pissing in the wind. You know? And he's tired of that. He want to do something new. So he's trying to get himself balanced. You know, he's a little Im he's immature though. He's trying to get himself balanced and everything. And he's focusing on something new. You know, um, this person had a lot of ladies. Had a lot of ladies. Um, and they've given up all that. They done gave up all their little options. You know, because they see that this is not getting them anywhere in life. You know, and then you old anyway. Um, King of Pentacles, you know. Um, uh, how many notches you need on your belt? I mean, what you going to be out there screwing everybody at 60 and say that you got seven holes and you think that's good? I mean, you know. But it look like they trying to wise up now. You know, they got rid of all their women. You know what I'm saying? And now they want a happy relationship. They probably got two kids that they need to take care of. You know what I'm saying? Because the wife over there ain't shit. You know, I'm seeing a little boy and a little girl. So now they want a ten comes relationship. They want a, um, a even given, a even given relationship. Uh, you know, um, you give to me, I give to you. You scratch my back, I scratch you. As we in this together, it's me and you against the world. <coughs> That's the kind of relationship they want. You know, um, and um. <coughs> They're waiting. They're waiting for uh, this empress to come back to them. <laughs> so they're resisting their wife. They don't want their wife no more. They want this empress. But this empress has them blocked. This empress has, is, has, is protected uh, by her ancestors, by her soul family. And also she has them on block. You know, she's standing her ground against this person. This um, this king of pentacles, they want attention from this um uh, Empress. Actually, they are obsessed with this Empress. But the Empress ain't fucking with them. You know. And um, by her not dealing with this person, it brought her in a tower. She don't want to be in a partnership with this person. Um, 
because this person is married for one and this person is doing fucking spell work you know and kept on doing it and the empress was like i hope they just heal just heal themselves you know they're divine being but damn you know what i'm saying the empress got tired and was like man fuck this shit now sisters let's war you know what i'm saying because they keep on they want to go about their business and get get some healing they keep attacking me and fucking with me so i'm gonna get with their ass you know it's all out in the open that this person is obsessed with this empress um, they be doing moon magic every uh, moon cycle on this empress. Probably love spells, binding spells. Ain't no telling what they're doing because they want to be in a relationship with this person. They want a family with this person. You know, this person fulfills them emotionally. You know, and this water sign, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio is frustrated that they got caught up with this lazy ass toxic energy ass bad wife bad mother ass uh, person that they married to this person is married this person is married but they're doing spells on another woman see that's where this kill bill come in you know what I'm saying you got all these hoes over here but your focus is on the one that don't want to be with you now, I don't know if this person loves this empress or is this person just a narcissist and just want this 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 empress's energy? Or this person is willing to win at all costs. They're very competitive. They're used to having what they want. And this person not wanting them and one don't not want to get with them, they ain't having that. They'd rather see her dead, like on Kill Bill, than to see her walk away with them and be happy with somebody else. And that's crazy when they have a wife. And got a gang of hoes. You know what I'm saying with them. Like it's wrong for the empress to want to go away. And um, get married. And have kids in a traditional way. And just be the man and the woman. And no other hoes involved. And have the nerve to get mad at this empress. For want to walk away from the situation. Who in their right mind agrees with being an option? An empress is not an option, sweetheart. Okay? And it's been exposed that this person has been doing spells every moon cycle. To try to get this empress to come back to them. Rather do spells than go get some material to the sin. You know, lead a wife, lead a hose, change a life. But whether they'd rather do spells because they want it all. I want it all and I want it now. And the Empress is like, get your ass out of here. So she called her goons, her ancestors, and they came and they took care of business. You know, and they finna reward her for the torture that she went through. She finna have growing wealth. You know what I'm saying? Because she's a divine badass. She's mastered the relationship with herself. And she gave herself self-love. And you're not loving yourself if you allow a man to have all these women. And you too. So, you know, this empress, she, she, she this above, I refused to be a victim. And got tired of the ass. And called her folks, called her peeps to come put the women bammy on their ass. See, sometimes you got to pop your wings on these motherfuckers. And let them know what time it is. See, some people want to meet the wizard. They want to meet, you want to meet the wizard. Okay. Okay. Ain't no victims over here. Ain't no victims over here. You know, and by this this uh, empress uh, walking away and not dealing with this person, it caused a tower. It caused a tower in this person's life. And this person is frustrated. You know, they trying to figure out what can they do to keep this empress from resisting them, to to to, to talk to them, to get them off block. What can they do? What can they do? You know. 
to figure out what can they do or what lie they can tell because they don't want to be judged. You know? See, they're not doing the right thing and they're still on some slick ass shit. Knowing they got to come to this emperor's right, they're still on some slick ass shit. Keep your ass away from the empress. See, I'm digging this, lady. See, this is what we need. You know, we need to master the, the relationship with ourself. And the last few readings, these empresses have been giving themselves self-love. They've been through the storm with this asshole, this stuck ass water sign. <clears throat> this person has water, earth in their chart. Water, earth, and fire in their chart. Probably a sage. I mean, it's ridiculous. And all they do, they want some attention from this, this empress. Because she emotionally fulfills them. But she don't want to be with you. You don't emotionally fulfill her. So everything is one-sided. It's your way or the highway. Straight up narc. Straight up narcissist. And this person is with some damn wolf pack. You know. Uh, let me tell you about this wolf. Okay. I have a brother. That's a water sign. And he's a whore. He's a man whore. You know. Um, he's just big time whore. He's just, just what he is. You know what I'm saying. And um, when he was little. Um. When the moon would come out, he would stand in the screen door and he would just howl at the moon. He would go, uh -huh, uh -huh. and you know, I remember that. I remember that because me and my brother, we're close in age. Uh, all of us are star step. So I remember that. And I remember that. And my mom used to be like, just leave him alone, let him do what he do. But he used to howl at the moon. That's because he has the curse of the beast. Within him, you know, and um, I see that now that I'm awake and I'm older. Yeah, I'm older, so I know what that was, you know, and this person is has this curse, too. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they just sexually addicted, you know, they just have a beast mentality, you know, and um, this person does too um they call themselves the wolf pack you know they howl at the moon they out there doing rituals howling at the moon like some damn fools you know what i'm saying just straight animalistic you know and um every moon cycle this nut and his friends go out there and be howling at the damn moon they probably be naked out there you know, because they curse, they curse with the beast. They they it's, they got the a werewolf inside of them, and I know you may think it's funny. Um, uh, a lot of people don't believe, but the shit is true. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, and um, this person beast mentality. They want what they want, and they want this empress, and they was trying to defeat her at all costs, and she made them ancestors rise. And I'm telling you. And they kicking ass. And they not through kicking ass. You know. Um, just because your relationship ain't working out with your wife. Uh, nothing you planted grows over there. Your business ain't growing. Whatever is happening over there. You probably ain't got no money. I mean you're an old dude. And ain't got shit going on in your life. You know what I'm saying. So you want to attach yourself to an empress who got it going on. Who's probably on a platform. Getting attention from a lot of people. You know. Um. On stage or something, you know, um, and they want to get a piece of that. They want to be in the limelight too, but they want to uh, share her shine instead of getting their own. You know what I'm saying? But they're not gonna get no shine because look at the, the, it ain't nothing. They, whatever they touch it is not gonna grow because you're going about doing things the wrong way. You're using spell work to get what you feel you want. You know, and that ain't right. I'm telling you, the energy you put out there is what you're going to get back. And you keep fucking with these emperors, you're going to get more than what you bargained for because her ancestors, I know, already whooped that ass. <laughs> I already whooped that ass, Capricorn. 
I already whooped that ass, Aries. I already whooped that ass, Sag. You keep coming, coming back for for more. It's a whole squad on the baseball team that's ready to come up and bat, and your ass is the ball, and they don't mind batting your ass out the field every time. So you need to quit doing what you're doing. And you already exposed anyway. She know what the hell you're doing. That's why she said, I ain't finna be no victim. Come on, ancestors, let's do this shit. And she had to pop her wings and let you see what time it was. Because you're playing games. You're taking my kindness for weakness. Don't let this smile fool you. <laughs> Don't let this smile fool you. Don't 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 let it think cause I got my makeup on straight. You know what I'm saying? And my hair done good that I can't take these sweats off and put these put these Jordans on and kick some ass. And that's what she did. That's what she did. You know? Be a man. Be a man. You ain't even man enough to come and say, I made a wrong choice, I fucked up. You know what I'm saying? You want to be behind the scenes like a little bitch. Doing spell work. Because you know what you did was fucked up. You chose this young, weak ass, bad mother, bad, can't even run a business. She probably don't even clean the house. Probably don't even wash her ass. Over Empress. Who does that? But an idiot. Somebody that's unbalanced. And now this person is all in his feelings now. Because they want the Empress to good him. Man, get your ass out of here. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> man, I'm telling you, man. Let's see what the psychic deck has to say about this. This Empress is a divine badass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for that. And her ancestors regulating. So if you want some more, keep on. The ancestors ain't no joke. Because they done been here before. They done experienced it. And they mad. And they mad. And they would love to take take it out on your ass. What happened to them in their life? They was waiting. Like, man, we was waiting on you to say something. Soon as she said, boo, they pushed her out the way. It's like, go on back there. We got this. We got this. Sit your ass down somewhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she, she. And this person obsessed. This person is obsessed. But this empress, she didn't know what you did. They know what you did. They know exactly who did it. And that's why I bet you that ass is going through some shit over there. Him and his hoe that he with, you know. I know they're going through some shit because the ancestors beating their ass. Y'all wanted to play. Let's play, you know. The Empress ain't have to do shit. But just sit on her throne and let the ancestors handle it. <laughs> Empress ain't got to resort to doing no spell work. That's some weak ass shit. You know, all she had to do was walk away. She'll kill you like that way. Just take her energy back. Because when the Empress is in your life, she leaves a mark. Okay? You ain't going to forget the Empress. All she got to do is walk away. <laughs> she ain't got to do all that. She ain't got to do all that. This weak-ass King of Pentacles is a weak-ass fucker. And too old to be that fucking weak. You know what I'm saying? Just straight immature. Yeah, you got wise. You know what I'm saying? You got some wisdom about what was going on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you said bump that. You know what's up with this person. You ain't gonna waste your time. And they hurt too. Look at that blue. Look at they all in their feelings. And you know what I said to that? Do it! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Duh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> you mad? 
because people know that you're doing spell work. This is probably not the first person you did know. You old as hell. You probably been doing this all your life on people. People probably wondering why. Why do I care about this person like that? Because this person doing spell work. Yeah, they they hard. They 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 hurt that you that you found out who they was. That you took that mask off of them. And you ain't even got no feelings for this person no more. This person just squeezed out all the feelings that you used to have for them. And you don't give a fuck about them no more. They ain't give a fuck about you. Doing all type of spells on you. To hurt you. On some Kill Bill shit. Him and his hoes. And they hurt. Because you don't, you don't even care about them no more. They can't believe it. They can't believe it. But you know that's their karma. That's your karma. That's part of your karma. That's this person is not feeling you emotionally anymore. It's not her fault. Yeah. Balance. The universe is coming in to balance some stuff. To balance some stuff out for you because you know this fool doing spells you know ain't no telling you know what I'm saying this empress been going through but you held your own empress but damn you shouldn't even have to go through that because you don't want to be with somebody no more because you don't want to deal with them in a gang of hoes no more they want to take you out of here? You got 50 million hoes, but you're obsessed with this one. And you know why? Because that is the empress. 50 million hoes don't add up to one empress. That's why you out here doing spell work. But that ain't going to work. You see it ain't work because you're getting your ass whooped right now. And that's the balance the universe is bringing. The balance is your ass whooping. <laughs> yeah. They all in love. That's great that horse chakra is open. But damn, you going about it the wrong way. You going about it the wrong way. You can't use your tactics the same old tactics you use on or these regular hoes that you use on the Empress. It's not going to work. They're not jealous. They're not envious. They're secure with themselves. So you can't use the hoes to make this Empress jealous. You can't use your money to get with this Empress. She got her own damn money. She's secure financially and everything. You got to be true to yourself to get this empress. And true to this empress. If she decides to give you a chance. But in this energy, she ain't fucking with you. And this person hurt too. They hurt. They hurt. <laughs> yeah. They want to come in and give a firm foundation. This empress is going to get a firm foundation. <laughs> the universe is going to come and balance things off and get this empress a firm foundation. Look at that back. Look at that back all nice and y'all see that back? Girl, stop. All nice and chocolatey and grappable and you know what I'm saying? Oh wee oh wee. Look look at the neck. Good, just just look at it, you know what I'm saying? Somebody come move mountains for him, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That's what the Empress gonna get, you know. That's what she deserves, you know. A firm foundation. And they're going to be some eye candy. Ugh. Stop the madness. <laughs> Ugh. 
Ooh, wait on it, Empress. Just wait to wait, girl. I'm telling you. You know. Wait to wait. And this fool over here going through mental conflict. That young girl over there driving him crazy. He going through mental conflict because he wants his Empress. But. You made your decisions, you made your choice, so leave this empress the fuck alone before you get yourself fucked up. Alright, Earth Sun. Virgo. Twist the rose every whenever you need you reverse them if you need to. This empress is gonna have a fresh start with a firm foundation. Why this asshole is over there going through mental conflict. Because all the spell magic they doing is fucking up their head. They don't even know. Because they idiots. And ignorant. You know. Just going through straight mental conflict. Why this empress is going to have a fresh start. Alright. They hate that they mask was pulled off. They never intended for this empress to find out their true colors. Never intended on it. But, every dog has their day. Everything will be revealed. And this 2022. And everything finna come out and get solved. You know. And, uh. This empress is not coming back. This empress has protected themselves. And they got their guards up. Well. You know, this king of pentacles. This king of cups. This water sign. Earth sign. They on some kill bill shit. Him and his hoes. He uses his hoes as his minions. And these crazy dumbass bitches. Is helping a dude fight a girl. Cause he mad cause she don't want him. What kind of low budget ass, low class ass hoe you got to be. To jump and try to hurt a woman. Because your man want her. What y'all want her to? Y'all want her in the bed with y'all? What's, what's y'all got going on over there? I mean, what the hell? You should be mad at him for even caring about her. But you know. Stupid is as stupid does. You know? They want you to forgive them. They want you to forgive them, Empress. You know? To be divine is, is to forgive. Forgiveness is one of the hardest things that you could do. Especially somebody over here doing spell work, or trying to hurt you, trying to take you out of here. And for you to forgive that person? Man. But this Empress is on that shit. She know how to forgive from a distance. She ain't got to talk to you or see you or nothing because she don't want shit to do with you. You were victimizing her. For what? Because she has integrity? You victimizing the Empress because she is vibing high and has integrity. What kind of person are you? I know what kind of person you are. A fucking devil. Somebody that wants to control somebody. A straight up narcissist. That's what you are. A fucking demon. Don't take it personally, Empress, when this person comes to you asking you for their forgiveness because you you telling them, okay, I forgive you, and that's it. They're going to be mad. They probably try to snap, and you know what I'm saying? You just, you know, but you, but you, you divine. You look at things from a different perspective. You know that this person has issues and that they are mentally unstable, so you expect it for them to do that, and that's why you're not with them. Because you're off your fucking rocker. You don't have the sense that 
the, the divine gave to a fucking gnat. So don't take it personally. You know this person has got issues. And you got to excuse a person that got issues because they sick. They need medication. They need help. They need therapy. And they need to go get some. Okay? You know, <laughs> a very oppressive attitude. You know, uh, everything they say, they got a problem in their life. Or somebody did something to them. Or they can't get a bill paid and they tell you about it. And bring their oppressive ass energy around you. And make you oppressed. You know, you got to keep people like that out of your fucking life. If people ain't on, on nothing and got that bubbly vibe, you don't need to be around them. For real. And this person all gloomy and sad. Keep your gloomy, sad ass over there where you at with your gloomy, sad ass wife. Because that's the choice that you made. Don't, now he want to cuss the empress out because she don't want to be with him. You married? What the hell? This person needs medication. They need help. Somebody need to talk to them. Somebody, some, you know, I'm not finna say all men ain't shit because that's not true. We got some great brothers out there. They need to talk to this person because the people that you've been around ain't ain't telling you nothing. Somebody need to tell you, bro, you tripping. You need some help. You need some help, bro, because you need to go get it, you know. Ain't no need for you to do nothing, Empress. Just forgive this person. You know, I, you know, forgive them from afar. But if you happen to talk to this person, just listen to them. Just let them talk. You know, let them go flip all out or do whatever they need to do. You know what I'm saying? While you just chill back and just listen to this shit and smoke your blunt, you know. Just, <laughs> they not going to wreck your stride. They not gonna break your stride. You chilling. You not gonna move me. You not gonna you not gonna take this Empress off a square. Alright? So you can pop off and say what the fuck you want, but it is what it is. Okay. You coming into some abundance, sweetheart. The universe is coming in to balance out what has happened to you and to show you that they sorry that you had to deal with this jackass. And your job well done. You coming into abundance because you're a divine badass. So you're leaving everything back, uh, uh, leaving everything from the past and you starting over from scratch. You know what I'm saying? My girl CC, child shoot liqueur is here and you getting a fresh start. And you starting it off with a bag. You hear me? That's what I'm talking about, Virgo. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> they want to come to you and be all generous and give you a gift. You know, and they're going to get mad at you when you don't take that gift. Because my empress, she's not going to take that gift. They probably be like, well, fuck you, man. You know, all some old immature ass shit that's expected. You know, <laughs> just laugh at them, Empress, because this is a child. They're immature. They're unbalanced. They need therapy. Something is wrong with them. You know? <laughs> yeah, no need to do nothing. Just trust. And your, and your soul family and your spirit guys and just walk the line. You know you got sharks nipping at your heels. You know you know, you know this person out there is just going to try the most. Keep on doing the most. And you just following your spirit guys. You know what I'm saying? Listen to their voice. And just going on about your business. Ain't no need to do nothing. Your soul family has your back. Your ancestors have your back. So let them keep on over there with the spell work. They're getting fucked up now. Let them keep on. It gets worse and worse and worse. <laughs> so you need to stop. You need to stop. You know. The Empress has followed her heart. 
And she's not emotionally attached to this person anymore. She don't have feelings for this person anymore. They made that happen. The Zippers followed her heart, got on her surfboard, and surfed the hell on out the door. Took her emotions with her. That water, that's emotion. And she done surf, she surfing on out. Taking her emotions with her. That's something that this um, earth sign created. Earth sign, water sign, created. She gone, dog. She gone. She gone, dog. She gone. And leave well enough alone. Take what you learn from this experience into your next relationship. Heal yourself. Then maybe you can attract an empress. But it won't be this one. You missed the opportunity. And you know that. You know that. That's why you're doing spell work to try to get this person to come back. But you need to handle your business in your life. You got a whole damn wife over there. The hell are you worried about somebody else for? Man, what kind of... This person is crazy. You know, but, you know, this who this is. This is who this is. This person is mentally disturbed and they need to go and seek help from somebody. For real. For real. Let's see what the light workers have to say about this. Man, these people out here with the spill work. Yeah, I better. Mm -hmm. Man. Over there got a whole wife. A whole wife now. And concentrating on somebody else. What kind of man are you? Don't know Empress want nobody like that. You ain't got no morals. No integrity. No nothing. You know. Get you somebody that fits into that lifestyle. I mean you do what you do. But this Empress don't. And you can't try to make them do something they don't want to do. On some Kill Bill type shit. You and your minions. Crazy man. Yeah, Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, help us in the subtle realm. You see what this Empress got behind her? She got help us in the other realms. That's her ancestors. That's a soul team that's ready to fuck somebody up. And we'll fuck you up. She got help us. You don't want none of this. I know you're feeling it now, but keep on. Wait, 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 it gets worse. Say yourself, homie. Say yourself. Go in the corner. Hear yourself some damn way. Before you get yourself really fucked up. Straight up. Straight up. You, you made your choices. You, you made your choices. Align your life, homie. That's you. You all skewed and fucked all up. You know what I'm saying? You can't come to no empress like this. The empress is too balanced. Chakras aligned, connected to the universe. And this is you. You don't think you need help? You need help. You need help, masculine, um, earth sign, water sign. You need help. Go get yourself some help. Because this person is not going to be a victim. And her ancestors, her soul family is behind her ready to fuck some shit up. So do yourself a favor. Do yourself a favor. I mean. Let's get some more goddess energy out here to balance this stuff out. Because... Mad cause his wife ain't ain't measure up to the empress. So. What? Of course she is. A, she's an empress.
Chris. He's just like all made up to her. <laughs> so you really need some therapy to even think that. You know, you should have followed your heart. You should have followed your heart instead of the material. Instead of the material. And, and this is not against all men because there's some great men out there. I am an advocate for the man, especially the melanated man. You know, ain't nothing like a brother. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing like a brother. But, you know, brothers, these elders, come on now. Brothers, I know some of y'all watch me. School these young brothers and tell them what time it is. You know, get them some good role models and stuff. You know what I'm saying? They need some help because they fucked up out here. You know, you don't hurt the one you love. You got it messed up. You gonna take her a hoe, but hurt the one that's for you. I just don't understand. Backwards. Yeah. Morality. This person ain't got no morals, and this empress does. No morals. You in a marriage. I just, I'm telling you, man. No morals at all. You know. You ain't even matching this, this empress's uh, swag. You're not even mad. She has all type. She has all, all morality. You ain't got no. You ain't even. You're not even. You're not even on her level. You're not even there. She's a divine badass. She has inner beauty. And that inner beauty is that God is inside. And she listens to that. Man. You, you, you horrible. You up here howling at the moon. She got inner beauty. You, you a beast. Beauty and a beast, huh? Man. She done seen the light. She knows what the deal is about you. She done seen the light. She is the light. So you can go up here and you can argue with her. Well, you know, it takes two people to argue. You can snap on her or do whatever you want. It ain't going to work. All you're doing is make yourself look more like more of an idiot than you are. You're just proving yourself. And you ain't got to do nothing, Empress, because your, your, your soul family got your back. And they come, they came to kick ass, you know, this person. And I don't even have my cards upside down, but this person over here is defeated. Um, they, they, they going through heartache and loss. You know, because you done took the mask off. This person ain't having no creative look. Nothing they gonna try to do is gonna prosper. Because of what they did to this empress. What they steadily trying to do. I'm telling you, this on some color purple shit. Silly saying, until you do right by me, everything you think of is going to fail. And that's what's going on here. No creative look. Everything you think of is going to fail. Get it together. You ain't having no creative look. And my goddesses don't even come out reverse. You done been defeated. Got your ass whooped. Now you're going to be stuck in a ruck for I don't know how many years. But it's your karma. It's your karma. You know? And my empress is going on. She's going out of, on it alone. She's going out on it alone. You know? And just because you're alone don't mean you're lonely. Trust and believe. You 
you know? All right. I hope this was healing for someone. I hope this message has some gold nuggets in here for someone. But um, kudos to the Empress for not allowing herself to get into three party, four party, five party situations because they just want a man to knowingly um, be with someone that you know sleeping with all type of other people. Why would you attach yourself to that? That's not loving yourself. So this empress chose to love herself. So she rose above and got on her surfboard and sailed the fuck out. Surfboard. Surfboard. It's a sad situation, man. People just don't want people to have their free will. You can't make nobody fall in love with you if they don't want to. That's how you make how you, you don't use a spell to make somebody fall in love with you. Don't you want somebody to fall in love with you genuinely? What's the matter with you? Who been telling you that it's okay to do these spells? That's not the way the universe works. That's why everything you touch is gonna fail. Okay. So stop doing the spell work out here, man. Be true to yourself. Be true to yourself. Straight up. All right, Virgo. This is what I have for you. Um, don't forget to hit that like button. As soon as you put the video on, hit the like button. Uh, please subscribe to the channel to keep the channel growing. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will know when I have new content coming out. Um, and above all, refuse to be a victim. Pop your wings on these fuckers when you need to. Because they coming at you, you come back at them. You can't be an angel when you're surrounded by demons. Pox said that. All right. I want to thank you guys for viewing and please come back and until the next video i love you all and as always know thyself know thyself know thyself bye bye